What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, it certainly is looking suspiciously like these Daily Digimon reveals are back. I love Daily Digimon reveals. I love knowing that every day I get some new Digimon cards to talk about. And frankly, I'm kind of loving this Digimon game. And I'm loving being able to talk about it every day. And you know the deal. If they're going to do daily reveals, I'm going to do daily videos. And today... We're going to be talking about a couple of vanilla red cards, Vorvamon and Lavamon. Um, I suppose Jason Snowjack told us who they were, but there are no translations needed here, ladies and gentlemen. These are vanilla cards. And straight off the bat, you could very easily go, come on, Wossy, vanilla cards, what is even the point of looking at them? Because I've shown you a bunch of deck lists on this channel. And if you go and look at those deck lists, you'll find that Vanilla Digimon see a lot of play. It's very easy to look at them and go, oh, they're vanilla, they're boring, they're never going to see any play, what's the point? But actually, Vanilla Digimon do see a lot of play, unlike something like Vanilla Transformers cards, which have seen a bit of play in the past, but it really is um not very often. So we can have a look. And generally speaking, when we're looking at these vanilla cards, we're looking for one of two things. They haven't got any skills. So they're either going to need to be cheaper, so that we're using less memory to play them, so it's kind of worth it. Or more powerful, so that they're hitting a little bit harder and we don't mind the lack of skill, given that they are hitting a little bit harder. Honestly, preferably both. So we start off here with Vorvamon. And what we see is a 4 cost to play normally, 0 cost to evolve, 5,000 power level 3. Is it any cheaper? No. No, it really isn't, ladies and gentlemen. It is, in fact, more expensive than any level 3 red Digimon we saw in New Evolution. And it is more expensive than any level 3 red Digimon we saw in the red starter deck. There is actually a red level 3 Digimon that can beat it in terms of cost. It is the promo Agamon that is a 5 cost and incidentally does see a fair bit of play because it's got that awesome skill that when you play it, you get to destroy an opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. So it's expensive to play normally. But then again, it's a zero cost to evolve, so this is going to be one of those ones you evolve. There's plenty of ones like this one, the Agamon we just mentioned, that you want to play without evolving. Similarly, Moochomon is free cost to play normally, but you actually have to pay to evolve it, which we don't expect on level 3s. So that's the kind of card you're going to play normally without evolving. This is a card you have to evolve, it's too expensive to play normally. Having said that, it's got 5,000 power. And 5,000 power is good. The only red level 3 Digimon we've seen so far that can match this is Moochomon. Now, to be fair, Moochomon, when you play it normally, is a free cost, which is cheap for a 5,000 power. But you've got to pay to evolve it. Whereas this one is free to evolve, but you've got to pay 5 normally. Here's the thing, I've seen Moochomon popping up in deck lists. Moochomon is a pretty nice card that sees a bit of play. And that's our niche, basically. It is this and Moochomon side by side, hand in hand. If you want to evolve, you're playing Vorvamon. If you want to play normally, you're playing Moochomon. Make no mistake about it, 5,000 power is very, very strong. To put that into context, the only level 4 red Digimon that we saw in New Evolution that had more than this was Dark Tyrannomon that was a 6,000 power, 6 cost to play normally, 1 cost to evolve. And while we're here, that's, that's where I'm going with this. Essentially, what I'm thinking here is, let's go for a red deck where we're evolving cheaply and we got more power than we might expect. Zero cost to evolve, 5,000 power, yes. One cost to evolve, 6,000 power. I mean, we're going up through here. We're never paying really... I mean, we, we paid one memory to go from a digit armor up to a level four, and all the way along, we've got more power than we would usually be expecting. This is cool. And they are a very, very nice team. I mean, 
probably the closest level 4 we've seen to this so far was Dracomon from the starter deck. And to be fair, I've seen Dracomon pop up in a bunch of decks. It is a card that has seen a, a fair bit of play. And it's a free cost to play normally, zero cost to evolve, 4,000 power. So it's cheaper to play normally, but you do have to pay. But it isn't any cheaper to evolve, and it's got a 1,000 less power. Make no mistake about it, if you're evolving into a level 3 and you're looking for power, this is the best option we've got. This is the best level 3 vanilla Digimon, or any Digimon, if you're just looking for power. But there was another one that was revealed. It was Larvormon. Uh, and apparently, people people more ingrained in the Digimon lore than I are saying that a Volcanic Dramon is going to be coming in the not-too-distant future. And given that that is essentially the end of the evolution line here, it seems fairly sensible that that's a, a good prediction. So, you know... Something to look forward to, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! But we'll get to that. Presumably that will be shown off in a few days and we'll get to it then. What do we see? It's a level 4, 5 cost to play normally, 2 cost to evolve, 6,000 power. Um, it's, it's literally Ground Ramon. Like, we, we've had this card before, it's Ground Ramon. Except Ground Ramon was a level 5. Groundramon was a level 5, 5 cost to play normally, 2 cost to evolve, 6,000 power. This is a level 4, 5 cost to play normally, 2 cost to evolve, 6,000 power. And again, I've seen Groundramon popping up in deck list, just because 2 cost to evolve into a level 5 is quite cheap. Well, this is 2 cost to evolve into a level 4, which isn't. Unfortunately here, I mean, if we're evolving up, I'm going back to Dark Tyrannomon. If we're doing the whole evolution thing, why would I play this over Dark Tyrannomon? Dark Tyrannomon is one more to play normally, but one less to evolve. So clearly, going the evolution route, I want to go Dark Tyrannomon. Maybe in the future, there'll be a reason to play this instead. I mean, the classic example I go to here was when we first saw Tinkermon. First time we saw Tinkermon, I looked at it and went, we literally have better vanilla yellow cards. This is garbage. There is genuinely no reason to play it and then petermon got revealed to let you play a tinkermon from your hand or discard pile without paying its cost and i went oh that's why we're playing tinkermon so maybe in the future something happens we get another card along those lines as it stands at the moment if you're evolving love all them on is just a worse dark tyrannomon but if you're playing normally maybe we can talk about this I mean, if you're paying 5 memory to play a level 4 without evolving, this is better than the alternatives. I mean, the only other one we've seen is Flare Lizardmon, which comes in at 4,000 power. Now, it does also have the skill whereby if you've got 3 or more memory, you gain security attack plus 1. So, there is a strong reason to play that one instead. But in terms of pure power here, it beats that one out quite handily. Similarly, if we're looking for a 5 cost to play normally, 2 cost to evolve level 4, we could go into the starter deck and we could look at Greymon, who again only has 4,000 power, but has an inheritable skill that gives you an extra security attack. And again, Checking an extra security card is good. And similarly, we've got Cordramon here, who is exactly the same and has 6,000 power and has blocker. Oh. Why am I playing this over Cordramon? I'm not. Not unless we are given something in the future that gives us a specific reason to play this or this evolution line. When I put this side by side with Cordramon, it's the same cost to play normally, same cost to evolve, same power, but Cordramon's a blocker. I suppose you could look at this and go, well, Cordramon has to give up two memory to attack, and Lavovomon doesn't. I don't care. Like, I'm most of the time not going to be attacking with either of these. I'd rather have the blocker. 
It's very rare I see a Digimon card that I look at it and go, no, it, it's just bad. And Volvamon might be a vanilla card, but I can look at it and go, look, if I'm evolving into a level 3, this is the most powerful option I've got, and there is a good reason to play it. When I look at La Volvamon, I look at it and go, well, if I want to evolve up, I can just use Dark Tyrannomon, and I'm paying one less memory, and if I'm playing it normally, I could play Cordramon. And yes, fine, I give up two memory to attack, maybe that's a reason not to... But, no. I'm sorry, ladies. And to be fair, right, I could still go for my level 5 ground drum on here. And okay, fine, it's a level 5 rather than a level 4. But you know what? Level 5 can evolve into level 6 more easily. So I think I'd probably rather play ground drum on over this as well, so that I can get an easier route to a level 6. So there are basically three other cards that for various reasons I'd rather play instead. I think La Vorvamon might be useless. But I do like Vorvamon, and I would like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel. Seriously, we're going to be doing daily reveals, it looks like, so make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on Twitter at the Wossy. that's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing, as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.